my young friends today is indeed inspiring we are in the business of energy and i must admit i have never felt this energized before this is the power of your generation i look forward to each of you and you are indeed some of the best talent our nation has my intent is to accomplish two things first talk about my personal journey i decided to come this time hoping that if my story could set an example for even a handful of you i would live satisfied that i had some impact second paint the picture of the incredible opportunity ahead of you now let let me talk about my personal journey that is tightly interwoven with the india growth story i also hope embedded with this story you found some nugget that inspire you to do your part to become an entrepreneur and work to build a greater india i was 16 years of age when i left studies i was a good student but because of my family circumstances i had to drop out of school i left home having learned two core values from my father first commitment to the promises you make to yourself and commitment to the promises you make to others both of these have to be in absolutely harmony second avoid over analysis of situation and have the courage to make quick decision based on your natural instincts i have followed both this value in every action i have taken having left studies i moved to mumbai in 1978 Landing in Mumbai with nothing in my pockets was exciting as well as daunting. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. The raw optimism of a 16-year-old boy. My first step in my entrepreneurial journey was learning to assort and do the valuation of diamonds. In less than three years, I had started my own diamond trading brokerage. I still remember my first trade. with a japanese buyer and my commission of rupees 10000 i felt terrific that i had created this opportunity by myself and for a teenager there could not have been a greater confident booster to get started an essential part of my learning throughout is that everyone gets opportunity in their life so will you however the two questions you will need to answer can you connect the dots early enough to recognize the opportunity coming at you and then do you have courage to relentlessly chase it down let me elaborate how essential these two principle have been to me it was 1984 the new face of india open to economic liberalization a slew of reforms were announced This was an opportunity I acted on instantly to start my import business which in turn the laid the foundation for the global trading business I was to build in 1989 here again I saw an opportunity to move quickly and establish a global trading house dealing in polymers metals textiles and agro products we grew so rapidly that within 2 years we had become the largest trading house in the country overtaking long established market leaders thereafter in 1994 we executed on our first ipo while the ipo was successful it opened my eyes to another opportunity all that we had was raw enthusiasm all that we had was a belief in ourselves rest is the history my young friends less than a decade we were largely known as a trading house and a one pot company today we are the country's largest pots and logistics business largest private thermal power business largest private transmission business largest renewable energy business largest coal trading business largest mining business and largest agro business all in less than 10 years 
behind each one of this are inspirational story of guts and sacrifices people have made to make all this happen along this journey we also built the world largest thermal power power plant site within the private sector the world's largest import coal terminal and the world largest single location solar generation farm if i against all odds made it as an entrepreneur there is no reason why there cannot be a thousand greater entrepreneurs amongst you my young friends we live in a blessed country you are at a point of time where the future of our nation is full of incredible growth opportunities let me now elaborate on some of my fundamental learning that i hope will be useful to you first have a personal purpose that drives you it is said in the gita it is better to leave your own destiny imperfectly than to leave an imitation of somebody else life with perfection purpose is identify as something that you see as your destiny 10 20 or 30 years from now in my case the purpose that drive me is that of a nation building every infrastructure opportunity i have created is associated within this purpose we have tried to build world class facilities india can be proud of it is my power of purpose that keeps alive my will to win we also created significant shareholder value an investor owning one share of adani enterprise at its 1994 ipo price of rupees 150 would today be holding a share worth about rupees 1 lakh this translates to a return of over 650 times in less than 25 years my young friends the rate at which science technology economics and geopolitics is merging the only way you stay on top of this by ensuring you are continuously learning even today i try to spend a couple of hours reading every day listening to people from a sectors that i know little about making a couple of trips to silicon valley to see how game changing technologies are impacting every facet of our life all this allow me paint for myself the larger picture about where the next set of opportunity will be created therefore develop a passion for learning this is the only way you never cease to grow keep in mind that for every one of you here there is a million out there who are less fortunate therefore whatever you do do it keeping your greater purpose in mind do it for your parents who have invested their life in you do it for your teachers who have selflessly work for your success and do it for that child who does not have the privilege of studying in a college like you my young friend i wish you the best may all your aspiration come true and may you take our nation india to great heights thank you jai hind